Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this has been a math. And today we're going to learn about graphing inequalities. We're going to draw a graph for each inequality. So, if I was given this inequality, negative 5 is greater than or equal to b. So, what I like to do when I see something like this, right, I'm given negative 5 first, it's greater than or equal to b. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to put b first because I like seeing it that way. So, I have my b first. And since we flip it around with a negative 5 over here. What we want to see is this greater than or equal to sign will switch to a less than or equal to sign. Okay? So the way I kind of always match it, the pointy side is facing the V. Make sure it's still the pointy side of the inequality is still facing the V when you flip it. But we're good. So negative 5 being greater than or equal to V is the same thing as V is less than or equal to negative 5. So now we're at negative 5. All right. That's our main point here. We know v can equal it, so we have a closed circle right there at negative 5. Then we shade to the left because v is less than or equal to negative 5. Okay. Now, one thing we can see here, all right, so v is everywhere that we're shaded, right, that the, the line is. So if you look at, at negative 5, can equal v, true. And negative 5 is greater than v. Yeah, everything v here, negative 5 is going to be greater than that. So it works both ways. I just find it easier to see it this way, so I always flip it and write it like that. So a few key things to, to recognize here is I flipped it uh, to have v come first, change it greater than equal to sign to be less than or equal to sign. Then close circle at negative 5 because v equal negative 5. And then we shade to the left because v is less than negative 5. And so now this graph is our final.